Gearhead 327, I'm going to show you my backyard tire shop complete with a homemade tire machine. Okay, this is a bead breaker and it also can change the tires out. All that stuff was constructed by me. This was the old bead breaker. Now guys, you're wondering why I have it on my work table is my back is not what it used to be. So uh, this is a comfortable working height for me. Uh, I mean, I can get down on the ground and change tires like I used to, but then I pay a price later with, uh, you know, with back pain. So, <laughs> this uh, this uh, is has really helped me out quite a bit, and it's also saved me a lot of money. So, I've got uh, a tire here. This is a trailer tire. I've got actually four that I need to change, and I'd say this one definitely needs some changing right there. So let's uh, well, let's get the tire into it. On the right is the uh, spare tire that won't be being changed right now. But uh, that uh, tire on the left, and these two tires over here are the ones getting changed. The first thing we need to do is uh, pull out this little valve core right here. Yeah, you have one of these little tools right here, or if you have some just real small fingernails or whatever, you could do it. But uh, I have to use a tool for mine. There's the valve core. We're not going to be reusing that valve stem. I bought uh, some of these little things off of eBay. Okay, we need to break the bead. And there's a lot of colorful ways to do this on the internet. I've tried a bunch of them without much success. So let's uh, break the bead. Bead breaker. All right, let's break that bead. All right, let's get that other side broke. Alright, this is based on the Lucid Auto Works thing. I just looked at pictures and fabbed it up out of some scraps. Let's, uh, let's see if it'll take that tire off. All right, well, there's the top half. Let's get the bottom half off. Alright guys, you want to pull out that um, tire stem right there, that valve stem, and I guess there's a number of ways you can do it. Alright, let's use a pair of channel locks. I guess it's no good anyway. Like I said, it's not going to be reused. Anywho, alright, let's get one of these new ones right here. on it. This is just water and Dawn dishwashing soap. And I broke that one putting it in. Crap. Alright, well it's a uh, good thing I got extra, huh? All right, let's try it again here without trying to break it.
there we go all right guys I grabbed it too low if you grab it you need to grab it up here where the where the metal is all right well let's uh, let's put a tire on there When you use this type of thing right here, this needs to be below that little thing there on that duck bill. And then that needs to be up like that to mount it. Now I know it doesn't seem intuitive or correct or whatever. It seems like it should be below that, but uh, trust me, you won't get the tire on there <laughs> unless it's set up like you see, okay? You can see that. And push this back. And all right, well, let's see if we can see if we can get it on there. Okay, just that easy. And let's put that top one in there. that easy okay let's uh, seat the bead now guys you can see my uh, tire bead sealer I got that from Napa and I don't do it mounted to the uh, to the tire thing right here because uh, it's hard to get under the back side when it's mounted so let's, uh, let's do the back side first I want a nice good seal on them beads because I've had a lot of times where the beads leak especially after a while have a lot of fun breaking that bead later on too if we need to. Alright well let's uh let's air it up and I'll I'll show you how I do it. Now, I do have a tire cheetah if I need one. Alright so we'll put this on here. There we go you just press on it you can't grab it from the side enough, you can stand it up like that. And the bead. That bead is seated. Let's, uh, let's put this in here. This is a Milton. I got tired of buying cheap tire inflators from AutoZone, you know, Home Depot, wherever. I finally went out and Pay this and this has served me for a couple years now so and, it, and when i'm ready to use it it works if i can get it hooked up there we go Uh, two tires down, two more to go.
All right, guys, I want to throw in there, too, that if you don't lubricate the uh, back side of that tire when you break the bead, I've had them where the bead sets back up again somehow, and it's murder to get it off. you got to go through the process again. So, anyway, put a little lube on it. flip it over and do the other side and we can put that other tire on too. Okay, some of y'all probably want to know what uh, all this costs right here. Well, I got these four tires right here for $224 shipped to my house. Um, I had to pay $20 for the bead sealer from Napa. And guys, you don't have to use the bead sealer, but it's been my experience. If you don't seal the beads, eventually they will start leaking air, and then you'll have to break the bead and then reseal it and do it again. So. Uh, so basically, say about $244 for the tires, the bead seal. Now this uh, this tire apparatus, that's the uh, bead breaker right there. And this tire machine, I don't have the other part out here. I'll, I'll do a video on how this was constructed and how you can make one later on. But uh, I didn't have a whole lot of money in that because mainly you can look and see it's pretty much made out of scrap. So, and leftovers. But... Um, uh, the tire shop quoted me a price of $393 and some change and uh, like I said it was for better better grade of tires I think but uh, I'm, I'm basically saving about $150 doing this myself and having these shipped to my house and um, I think it was well worth it so okay gearhead 327